Central Sign Action, and we're just about set to kick off. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Heading for the corner. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here comes the defense. Looks like he's going to run. Tackle made at the 48. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 39. That brings us second and one. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. From the 33-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he hits him hard at the 21 yard line. quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only what he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still first, first down. down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. On the run, right side. Nice run to the outside. A five yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That makes it second and 10. Second and ten. 
Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 41. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. around the 43 yard line this guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible you don't see it from every receiver but this guy's got it He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He steps out of bounds at the 20. And here's another third down. to his fullback, no good. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. He's looking to tie the ball game up with this one. The kick is up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 29-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. We played one quarter. And this one's not enough at three. Welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike four, Mike four. Get up, three And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 43. So we're looking at another third down here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. It up. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. hit immediately. That brings up second and nine. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's pushed out of bounds at the 22. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. The running back gets two on the carry. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Brought down at midfield. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Going deep. Lays it out there. And he got it. And he will score. Got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 10-3. They line up to kick this one away. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got some open field. Looking for the corner, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. He gets rid of this one. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Looks left. Picked off. He might have a chance for the 20. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 15-yard line, first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The Bearcats will use their first time out of the half. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The Bearcats use their second timeout. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's leveled at the 40. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. He did a really good job of standing in against the rush and getting the ball right to the receiver's hands. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's the tailback and he dropped it third down now and they need to get it out to midfield play action he airs it out and it's intercepted they'll bring him down around the 44 yard line 
We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. With the pass incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. On the draw, tackle in the backfield. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The Bearcats using their third and final timeout. He gets it up, and it's good! We've played a half. The Bearcats lead 20-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. Lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This halftime lead is much larger than any of us anticipated, and now the challenge becomes to maintain it and try to make sure that you don't let the other off the deck. Yeah, I think they're probably as surprised as we are because we thought it was going to be very competitive. But don't sleep on them yet. It's not over. This is still a really good ball club. And I think you got to make sure that you understand that they're, they're, they're even with you most of the time. You just had a big first half. They can have a big second half. Make sure you come out in the second half. You execute. You try not to make mistakes. But don't sleep on those guys over on the other side. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The Bearcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gets out to about the 31. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 31. Him. The pressure was still to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt it, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 26. 
We're about set to start things up again. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle around the 39 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. here got the football he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks really there's nothing he could do at all there that was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line in the shotgun and five wideouts and they make the stop at the 20. yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. tosses for him. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball and it's resulting in some nice scores just like we've seen today. So they'll review this to see if the receiver had control of the ball but I gotta tell you I think it looked like the ball bounced into his hands. So the officials are gonna take a look at some of the replay angles. And what they're looking for is whether or not the ball the ground before he had possession. So the ruling's upheld. It's a good catch. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up and play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, this thing is getting out of hand and downright ugly. Well, they just can't get anything going on offense right now. They are down big. They've still got some time, but the clock is starting to become their worst enemy. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled at the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That makes it second and two. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. That's a team of six on the play. First down. He's scrambling. Brought down at about the 49. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Just 
throws this one away. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Roger, Roger. Mike four. What defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. He wants it all going long. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. Very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They need to get it to the 15. And that sets them up for the first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. From the one yard line, it's second down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Run, 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 run. Pitch pass. Touchdown. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 79-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Three down and one to go. The Bearcats are up big. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I pray. And he 
throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Tackle made right around midfield. Gets rid of this one. Second down, go. Ball on the 50. Goes complete, big loss. receiver. He's at the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds. That's the 30. That makes it first and 10. And this play is number eight on the drive. rid of this one good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from the 38 yard line second down and he just gets rid of it and this is the 10th play of the drive was incomplete and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. He goes downtown. I'm pretty sure they won't win it but they haven't quit yet. Great effort by the wide receiver and not to take anything away receiver made this play so they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play and boy do they come through and he hits the PAT so an 11 play 75 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard Brad how about the guys up front the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw He's taken down at the 45. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's taken down at the 35. In second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Taken down as he works the left for a nice. three yards to pick up the first down less than three minutes in the game tackled after decent pickup
the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. play of the series. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Get the win, 34-10. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.